Hello, I'm Hayley. Hello, I'm Hayley and welcome to a very special programme. We're live from London, ahead of the coronation of His Majesty King Charles III. I'm live outside of Buckingham Palace, which is his home when he's in London. Hello everyone, I'm Ricky and uh, this is Westminster Abbey, where the King will be crowned in just a few hours with everything you need to know for the UK's first coronation in 70 years. This is Newsround. Hello, it's Saturday the 6th of May and welcome to a very special news round. We are live in London ahead of the King's coronation in just a few hours time. I'm outside of Buckingham Palace, which is his home in London and where he will start his coronation procession in just a couple of hours time. He will go in a carriage behind these streets along with the Queen consort and close members of his family. They will parade through the streets past thousands of people who have come to wish them well. Many of these people have been camping out overnight to make sure they get the best possible view. Well, the King, the Princess and Prince of Wales, William and Catherine, have been out to chat to lots of people on the streets already. It's a huge occasion, the first UK coronation in over 70 years. Now, I've been out already to speak to some of the children who got here early, and this is what they had to tell me. I come from Portsmouth and I've come here today so I can like so happy to me from the coronation. <laughs> I've gone to London to see the king being crowned. It's gonna it's gonna be really cool and lots of things from everywhere. I I hope it will be really great. I'm really hoping he comes out but he probably won't. Might. If we stay here for long enough and keep waving, you never know, you might. Yeah. Well, yes, the King is in that palace right now behind me, so you never know, you may see a wave. Well, when the King does his procession, he will go on these streets behind me all the way to Westminster Abbey in a Diamond Jubilee coach. He'll be surrounded by servicemen and women. Lots of people will be marching on foot, but also lots will be on horseback, and horses will be pulling the royal carriages too. One of the things you can see around the city over the last few days is riders practising with those horses to make sure they know what is happening and they're able to stay calm when they're surrounded by music and crowds. Well, that procession will lead the King along this street to Westminster Abbey, where the coronation itself will take place and where Ricky is there for us now. Ricky, what's happening? Hi Hayley, yes, it is all going on here. Loads of guests have already arrived. They all look so beautiful in their frocks and their suits. This is Westminster Abbey, a truly historic building. It's where many kings and queens have had their coronation over almost 1,000 years, dating all the way back to 1066 when William the Conqueror had his coronation. Here it's just between Big Ben and Buckingham Palace and there is a real sense of occasion today. Lots of people excited. Let me take you inside the Abbey though. I've been very lucky to go inside the Abbey a couple of times. It is a beautiful building. It's very impressive and it'll be shown off to its best today. Keep your eyes out for the famous mosaic on the floor. That's the very spot where the crown will be placed on Charles's head and he'll be anointed with religious oil as well. What about the guest list? Well, 2,000 guests will be inside the Abbey today and they will be members of the royal family, other members of the Commonwealth and also celebrities too, but also 400 young people who have done some fantastic work for charity. They will be here today, including young Max, who's 13 years old. He stayed in his tent in his garden for three years. He will be here too. But what else can we expect today? Here's Shaniqua. Let's start with the crown. It's the centerpiece of the coronation and there's even an emoji of it. The St. Edward's crown was made in 1661 for another Charles, King Charles II. But FYI, it's a copy of an older crown thought to have been used since the 11th century. What happened to that one? Well, it got melted down. Second, the venue. Westminster Abbey is one of the most historically important buildings in the UK. It saw William the Conqueror crowned in 1066 and has been used to crown every king and queen since. It's also been the place of funerals, the queens took place here, and weddings, Prince William and Catherine married here too. It's the final resting place of many kings and queens and famous people, including Charles Dickens. 
3rd, the guest list. About 2,000 people are expected to attend the coronation. Sorry, it is invite only. Among them will be the royal family, kings, queens, and presidents from around the world. But there will be some people missing. US President Joe Biden won't be there, although his wife Jill will. And while Prince Harry is coming, Meghan and their kids, Lilibet and Archie, aren't. Fourth, the transport. One of the big moments in the day will be the processions. For the journey to the coronation, King Charles will be in this very fancy carriage, the Diamond State Jubilee Coach. It comes with heaters, aircon and electric windows. But the journey home will be in a still fancy but less luxury gold state coach. Queen Elizabeth called it horrible. Oh dear. Last up, the crown jewels. The orb is a golden ball with a jewel cross on it. It's designed to say that the new monarch's power comes from God. The scepters look like big golden sticks covered in jewels. They're meant to represent the king's power and rule. The orb and scepters are part of the crown jewels kept guarded in the Tower of London. So if you were thinking of borrowing them, then you can forget it. Oh, Hayley, I can see a lot of fancy hats heading into Westminster Abbey. If you want to know more about the coronation, head over to the Newsroom website, where you can also learn about what the King actually does. And you can also take a look back at the King's life in pictures. What an exciting day. Back to you, Hayley. Thanks, Ricky. I want more hat updates. I'm loving that. Well, let's get back to the King's procession because lots is going on here. The King will be parading down these streets with over 6,000 UK troops, servicemen and women. They'll be in fancy uniforms, they'll be marching bands and they'll be golden coaches. There'll also be a special dog, a service dog, an Irish wolfhound called Seamus. Um, but now we know what the King is going to be up to, but we want to know what you guys are up to too because lots is happening all over the UK and you've been letting us know just what you're up to over on the Newsround website. Thea says that at school on Friday they had a picnic on the school field and today it's a barbecue with people from her village. Another Newsrounder had a school fun day where they had extra playtime and wore red, white and blue clothes. And Eve Phoenix says they're going to watch the coronation on a big screen and will watch the concert tomorrow at home with their family. Also, Hattie says I'm going to the coronation with the girl guiding group as I'm in the girl guides. Well, that's all from Ricky and me on this very important day in the UK when King Charles III will be crowned king. I'll be at Windsor Castle tomorrow ahead of the celebrations there and to tell you all about the special coronation concert on Sunday. We'll also be out and about with you in your local villages and communities, so make sure you keep letting us know what you're up to over on the Newsround website. But from me and Ricky and Buckingham Palace, bye-bye.